Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator and our new and improved garage right here. We've got all of these new toys and everything to play with and we have our Bentley. Doesn't it look magnificent? Look at that creature! Look at it! It's sleek, it's beautiful, it's in need of a little bit of work. Yes, just just a, a smidgen, teen, teensy bit. So, I've had some advice on what I should be doing to upgrade and improve this car, but before I do that, I want to show you something. I have gone and I have been buying all of the um, the replacement bits, and so that's what I did. So we go to buy name like this. Uh, I didn't actually get the new bench in there, purely because um, I'm, I was wondering if that would also be improved with the, the interior detailing. So I didn't actually worry about that bit. But no, what I want to show you is, is some of this, because this is a little bit pricey. The, the filters there, just the air filters alone cost a fortune. And I've bought all of these. There's like 28 of these camshaft caps, loads of them. Um, and then we come down through here. It's not those, it's not those, it's these here. Piston rings. I need 12 piston rings, and I need 12 piston with Conrod. 12 of each. Okay, sounds simple enough, you say. Indeed it does. It sounds very simple. It's not so simple when you put it into practice. So if I just go into here and I go W12 in the search, the air filter alone is $120, right? $120, for piston rings. This is insane, right? Do you, you, you realize how much I'm spending on this vehicle? There, piston rings are $20. These are $60. Those $80. Those over there, $300. I need 12 of these, right? So we go for 12 of these. Just the piston rings alone is $612. And then we need piston with Conrod. We need 12 of these. $3,000 for the new pistons. This is insane. This is absolutely insane. But um, I'm hoping it's going to be worth it. We're going to have a wonderful, sleek, brand new Bentley by the time we finish all this. So the next thing I want is the interior detailing toolkit. This one here is what you use to clean the inside of the vehicle. And if we go back over here and we take a look, and I do that and I go car status, the parts condition, um, global body condition is 4%, frame condition is 60, interior is about 60. So we need to do a little bit of work with this. So we're going to come over here, we're going to go to this one. I don't know how to use this one yet. Um, move equipment, so we want to move this one over to shop entrance, car lift A. And I'm also going to want to do a bit of welding as well, we'll get to that one in a minute. We're going to go over here to car lift A. So I have no idea what I'm supposed to do with this. Um, use equipment, are you sure you want to repair Bentley, uh, Bentley Continental GT for $100? Yes. Okay, um, inside matters. Apparently that's all you've got to do. So we go now, uh, interior condition 100%. I'm guessing maybe then it doesn't actually repair the seat that I was talking about. So let me just put that one back. Um, next up is, well actually no, this is not quite the next thing. That's the welder. This I was saying this is going to be the welder. It's not. Uh, it's this one right here. I actually need to charge the battery. We got that battery right there. Yes. I want to charge that one up. I don't know how long it takes to charge a battery. I've not, oh, is, is that it done already? Recharge battery will be added to your inventory. Right, so we charged the batteries. We didn't have to buy a new one of those. Then we can come over here, and there's the toolbox. We don't want that. It's this one right here. We want the welder. So we're going to move this one over to car lift A. So then we come over here. Oh, it's got different locations for it, so you can actually bring them all over all at once. It does make it a little bit quicker if we can do it like that. So then we want to go to the welder. We want to use equipment. This is $1,000 to use this one to repair it all. But look at the body condition now. It is sleek and beautiful. It is wonderful. So that is all 100%. Global body condition there, 7%. I don't know why that's saying 7%. Is there, have I got bits on it or something? I don't think I have. I'm looking down through. I don't see anything wrong with it anywhere. No, nothing at all. Okay, we'll worry about that later. So then I want to go onto there, and I want to go to move equipment and place equipment back. So I've done those two. So the next thing we want to do is we want to start rebuilding the car. And, well, actually, the first thing I want to do is I want to go into here, and I want to go to um, body. Is it in body? No, it's not. Um, you don't actually have interior on this list. The interior stuff is not on this list at all. We've got here bench continental. So if I just go... 
Can I search? Oh, you uh, type here to search. So if I go continental, continent, we got the bench right there. And then seat continental, seat continental GT, and steering wheel continental. So I want those two. I want the seat continental times two, or well, three. Steering wheel, and I also need the bench there. So we'll get those a minute. So we go into our shop, and then we come out of there. We go into the body shop, and it does take a little while to load sometimes. So then I want to go... No, not... It's interior shop. I've gone to the wrong shop. I do apologize. I went to the wrong one. It's that one right there that I want... And I want to go to Continental like that. So I want one of the $500 for that one. Oh, no, $425 for that one. Oh, of course, I get a price reduction, don't I? Good gravy. Those, the, those things would have cost a fortune if we'd been paying full price. $750 for a steering wheel. Are you kidding? That's <laughs> it's so expensive for this stuff. Seriously. This is really, really badly expensive. Right. Um, if I go, like, no, I don't want to do that. I want to, how do I make it work? Ah, oh, there we go. Right, assemble mode, interior disassemble, and then if I go interior assemble, front left seat, why didn't you work? It does this. It, it, it does this strange thing where it refuses to work sometimes. So then I go like that, and there. That's what I want. I want to put that one in, and then it's not going to let me do it because I'm too, it, it moves me away from it ever so slightly, and it won't let me do it. Um, so I'll have to try it like that, and then I can go there, and that one, put you in, and then it's not going to let me do it, because I've had to move away slightly from it. See? See what I mean? I can't reach the steering wheel. I have to come over this side, and I'll try and do it there. Um, body, interior, assemble, and <laughs> as soon as I move up, it moves away from it. What is wrong with you? It doesn't like... Uh, uh, maybe I need to just take it down off of this. Uh, we'll worry about the other bits later. We've got a seat in there. Um, let's, let's work on the engine. We'll do the engine first. So if we go on to here and part mount, we can just start putting this back together. I've got, everything should be brand shiny spanking new now. So that's the front. I'm not going to put the front differential on at the moment. What I'm going to do actually is I'm going to work on the inside in here. So we'll put this crankshaft back in and then we've got to start working on all of these... Because that front differential can... I don't want that one there. So I'll take those two together. And... Right, I think if I just do it like this. Um, yeah, there we go. I can press enter. I've also been told I should be pressing enter to do this. It's quicker. So we go like that. And then I can do that. So we can um, put all of these in. And you... Like that. Right, it is working okay. I just want to, I, uh, last thing that I want to do is to start getting this wrong and put the wrong items in right at the last moment. That would be absolutely, utterly heartbreaking, soul-destroying, and, and just generally not very good. Right, we want one there, so I can put that one in, and then I've got, uh, have I missed one? Yeah, there's one over there, there's one, there's also one over here. It's difficult to sort of keep up the date with where all of these are. There's lots and lots of different ones. And yes, and then... Uh, right, where else have I got one? I've got another one here somewhere. There's one. I've seen it. There it is. We've got one there, I think. Yeah, oh no, there's a couple more yet. Yeah, put that one in. And then i got one over there, which I nearly missed. Do those. And there's one right there. That's the last one there. Yes, that's all of those bits. Right, so we've done all of that one. So now I need to put the rod caps on. Um, so I need to come over here. There we go, rod cap right there. Put you on. And this is going to take a bit of doing up. So we've got to come back through. It's going to take a long time to do some of these bits. Some of, some of these, the bits on here, are, um, there's an awful lot of them. Because we seem to have got so many bits of this engine all rolled in together. That front differential thing is starting to annoy me. I'm not going to put that on until it's inside the car. I suspect it would be quite difficult to manoeuvre this engine back into the car if we stuck that one on here. So really I don't think it should even be an option for us. Put that one on there, and then I want a rod cap there to go on. And then another one just next to it like that. And that one can go on. And then we got another crankshaft bearing cap there. A couple of those in. 
I'm wondering what this vehicle is going to be worth when we're finished. I have been told that getting stuff from the junkyard, getting vehicles from the junkyard, is actually cheaper than getting things from anywhere else. So if we go to the junkyard and we get it there, we will make more money than if we get it from the barn finds or from the auctions. So I think we might go and take a look at that. I'm not quite sure yet. Because, like I said before, I'm not sure how much longer we're going to run this series. I mean, we've got a few new bits to look at at the moment because I've unlocked everything on the garage now. But we kind of, we have pushed through a lot of what this game has to offer now. And, and we're going to sort of, it's just going to be repeating what we've already done. And I don't really want to sort of, like, start getting into that trap. That's the, It's just going to end up getting really boring. Um, and... I've already repeated myself quite a lot in this series so far, so I think we've kind of run... We've run a lot of what I'd like to do in this series. And so, yeah, I, I do kind of feel that maybe we ought to think about moving on to a new game. Um, the games that I would like to play, like the Tank Mechanic Simulator and things like that, um, which is like my top um, choice for replacing this series, are not currently available. They're not out yet, so those aren't options yet. Uh, so I'm still sort of looking around trying to decide what I should replace this one with. I would like it to be a similar type of game. I don't want to be doing something completely different. I would, I kind of like the idea of the Tuesday one being a, a, a similar type of game to what we're using, what we're playing right now. Um, and, you know, like the Monday one with Banished, I'm going to be changing that to something similar to Banished. Why are you going the wrong way and then changing? does do some strange things sometimes doesn't it right so let's go back onto the engine and then we want to go to part mount mode and we come back over to this end so we'll just do these bits on this end at the moment so we've got some idler rollers to go in there and i've got a another one to go in there like that and then hmm i'm going to leave those we're going to start working on these bits on the top up here so i'm going to come back over to this side so what do we got here? It's a thermostat you can go in there and do that one up and then we're going to have to start doing the main engine. I've been avoiding it long enough. We've got the engine head here, W12. So that one's got to go in there. And then you drop in camshaft. And then we drop in another camshaft right there. And then we got to start putting these camshaft caps on. Now, just for the record, there are 28 of these. I know because I went and bought them all and they cost a fortune. Right? 28 camshaft caps. And they cost an absolute arm and a leg. And then you've also got these cam gears here. I had to replace all of those because we weren't able to repair them. Um, the unfortunate thing with the camshaft caps is that they've got to be put on individually, um, which is going to make it take a little bit longer. But we can, I think we can sort of work down through and do it like this. Um, go on there like that and do that one up. I think we can do it like this. Yeah, we just keep working our way down through. There's no sort of real... I mean, I could be using a key to do that, I suppose. If I do it like this, I do there and then go like that. And then I can do it like that. That might just speed it up just a tiniest, tiny little bit. But again, it's not going to be a huge amount. So we've got a spark plug to go in there. And then another one in there. And then a camshaft cap to go on down there. And then one back here as well. And this is only half of it, you realise. This is just half of the task that is ahead of us to put everything... At least we don't have, like, all the rocker valves and all of that stuff to go in as well, because um, those would take even longer. Um, I am really looking forward to trying this vehicle out. We're going to get it all detailed. It's all going to be painted up. We're going to we're going to do ev everything. Is going to be looking really swish and clean and wonderful on this. I'm going to change the um, the color of the paint on it as well. I'm definitely going to be giving it a full coat of paint just because. Um, I don't know why I want to, but I really, really do want to. I think it's going to look absolutely epic if we can do that. So that is on my to do list to change the color. I don't like the cream color that it came with. Definitely not a fan of the cream that it's shipped with. Um, Am I miss? Oh, no, there's one now. Why is it not allowing me to put the cover over? Uh, still not allowing me to put the cover on. What's next? There should be another bit. Maybe I need to do this other side. Do I? I've got those all down through. Um, I think I've got something else that needs to go on here, so we're going to have to do this other side first. Yes, that's what we've got to put all of that on first. So we're going to put this camshaft on here, and we're going to put that one on there, like that. 
And then I will go through and I will do the spark plugs because it's just going to speed it up if I can do these. And then we've got all of the the, the, the last 14 um, camshaft, uh, what do you call it, on there? Is it camshaft caps? I think it's camshaft cap. Yeah, camshaft caps. We've got the last of these to go on. Only 14. Well, only 13 now. See, we're absolutely racing along. If I do that there and I bring it round this way, a little bit bright, but we can work with that. And then do those up like that. And if I can get this one down here as well. There we go. And I'll try and work my way up through the engine and we'll do both of them together. Uh, and you. And then that one there. Do that one up. And one up there. We're almost there. We're almost home. I've done eight. I've only got six left to go. Uh, I remember back in the days when we had 22 still to go. That was that was a long time ago. We, we've come a long way since then, since the 22 days. <laughs> and I don't know. Does anybody else sort of like divide when I'm doing something like this? You know, sort of if I'm doing it on my own and um, like it's getting a bit tedious. Do you like divide it up into like loads of loads of um, separate numbers and like right, I'll do two there and then there's another two and then there's just four to go and then there's three to go on that bit and then I've done that quarter and so on. Is that just me or do other people do that as well? I know that I do it. I do it a lot. Um, but I'm not sure if anybody else does. This may just be a frith thing. I'll put that one on there. I've got... Oh, I see. It was the fuel rail that I had on there. Um, but I've also got a camshaft cap there that I missed. I need to put on. And I've also got a cam gear. Oops. There. We can put that one on. And then i got another one there. So I didn't... Actually, I miscounted. I completely miscounted. I got that wrong. Let's do that one there. Right. That bit's on. And then we've got the exhaust manifold over on the side over here, which we've already done the other side, I think. Can't see very well. I don't like the way that the light does sort of really make everything super, super bright on here. Um, let's come over here. Right, I've got everything on that side. So we want to put the fuel rail on there. That one can go in place. What goes on next? Right, well, we'll go back here. We'll put the fuel filter up there. That one just floats in the middle of nowhere. I don't like that. And then that one on there can go back on. Uh, timing chain can go on. I don't like the way that some of these bits are like stuck over the end. Oh yeah, of course we got the we got a timing chain there, and then we got another one on this side as well. We could put those over, and then I think it will allow you to put covers on. So we got that cover there. I'm not going to put that one on until after we've finished doing the engine because it it just it's just wrong. It's just wrong, wrong, wrong. So we got that one on there. And there's one over the other side as well. Another turbocharger over here. Put that one on there. There you go. Nailed it. Ideal. Uh, that's the cover. Right, now we've got... I see. We had to put the... Um, we had to put the chains on. The timing chains inside before we could put the cover over the top. So put that one up on there. And then we've got some ignition coils to go on. These should be pretty quick. Like that. Actually... Um, I don't want that one on there. I want that one over there. We'll do it like this. We come back down through. We'll go back to doing the other bit in a minute. We'll, we'll worry about that in a second. So I'm going to come over there and I'm going to put that engine head cover on there. And then I'll swing around. And we can go up through. Is there any particular cars you'd like to see me work on? There's several different ones in the game. Um, and a few people do suggest them and then I generally forget them. Um, but... Yeah, we, we've got various different types of cars, so I'm, I'm curious what you'd like to see me work on um, next, after we've done this car. Should I just sort of go to the junkyard and find the very first one? The Just literally take the first junk item that we find and have that as the one that we're going to repair and do up and then move on from there? Or should I sort of go for a specific type of car? Because some people would, some people obviously like me to do specific cars. Others like, you know, just any of them. Um, work telephone orders, that sort of thing. So there's, there's all kinds of different you know, ways that I can approach this. Um, so I am curious which one you'd like. And also, like I, I think I did actually say it already, but um, yeah, as we're not going to run this series forever, we need to be thinking about what we're going to replace this particular series with. So what do you want to see as a replacement to this one? Our Tank Mechanic Simulator, when that one comes out, it is one that I want to be playing, but I'm not actually sure at the moment when it's due out, so it may not be for a little while. It's a bit of a shame. I really want that one to hurry up and come out because that is definitely top of the list for replacement for this series because that one just looks awesome. It really does. It looks like it's going to be loads and loads of fun. 
Um, and there's a lot of details that we've already got in this game, which so it's gonna, gonna it's gonna add on. A, it's it's gonna be familiarity. You're gonna see a lot of familiarity um, to like the style of what we've been doing, but it's also gonna add extra things as well. Now, how are we doing with this engine? We've got that piece in underneath, which I'm not putting on the front differential. I'm not gonna do that until it's off of here. Um, if I come back a little bit, we've got that timing cover there as well. Again, that's one that I'm not going to do until we've taken the engine off. I think that's all of it. Right. So if we take that one then, we go engine stand and we go take engine from crate. Like that. And then I go over here and I get this engine crane right here. And I move that one over to car lift A. Then we run over here to car lift A and we go install engine into the car. Yep. Nailed it. Right. You can go back. Nope, don't pull out. Move equipment and put that one back. Right, so we've got an engine in there all ready to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go down here a second and I'm going to start installing these. We've got... I didn't even realise... Why do these have sides? Is it just the direction of the letter? I guess it is. It must be. It must be the direction of the letter on there. That's, that can be the only reason that it would do that. Do we have anything to go on the spring puller? I don't think there is. I think this one, join parts, no idea. Yeah, that, that one's not, not a thing for this um, this particular uh, vehicle. So we can put that one on there, and I go on to the wheel balancer. Balance. Yes. And then you, we go... Uh, no, I don't want to separate on with stalls. So we've got that left side one. And then that one go on there. Yes. Those sport tyres, by the way, $3,000. Do you understand what I'm saying? Three thousand dollars for sport tires again. So that those are a tad pricey. Balance the next one. Yep. GT left side. So then I go install. Now we've got the right side. Two of those. And then once the two, we got one more right side to put together, and then we got the two of them obviously to balance on there. So we want to take that one there. That one is now done. So I can take that, and then you can take, and then you I can go balance and put you on there. Excellent. Yes. And then that one over there in store. The last one on the right side. Yes, you're done. And then we just got to join them together. Just looking to see what we got in the way of jobs coming in. I keep an eye on the jobs. Every now and then I'm going to look through them and see if there's any particular jobs that are... Ooh, a Bentley. A Bentley T-Series. Okay, that is the older one. And I quite like the idea of working on one of those. So we'll take that order. Right there. And then that, that one... We'll get to that one in a minute. We'll put that one on car lifter B. But we're not going to worry about that one at the moment. We, we'll... Um, actually, we're, we're just going to leave it by the door and we'll go and work on it in a minute. We need to keep working on this car over here, so I'm thinking which way round do I do this? I look in the top. Right, if I go into here and then I go to part mount mode, and then I can bring this one back round here. See, the timing on this one is on the back. Accessible from underneath the car. I'm going to put in that ABS pump right there. And then I'm going to put that module on the side and do those up. So we've got the ABS going back in. We've got the battery charger, so we don't need to buy new batteries seems a bit odd that you've got to wait until much, much later in the life of your garage before you figure out that you can charge a battery and you don't have to just buy a new one. Um, to me, that seems a most peculiar thing because, you know, I figured that most people that run garages would probably already know that you can do that with a, with a um, battery. They're not going to sort of think, oh, what strange magical thing is this that we don't actually have to buy new batteries and that we're able to charge them. Um, so yeah, that's that's the one bit that does confuse me a little bit. All right, let's lift that one back up into the air, and we can start doing things from underneath. And I've got cooling on there, and then I want to go to part mount, and we want to put the large intercooler there on the front, and then we want that um, front suspension cross member. I got that rubber bushing in there. I had to buy like twenty of those, twenty different rubber bushings in order to make all of this work. Um, Where's the next one? I got one over there. I can see it. Actually, there should be one over there beside me. There. There is the rubber bushing. I'm just grabbing these now and making sure that they're all in so that I don't actually forget to do them later on. Because otherwise, I'm just going to forget these rubber bushings. And then I'm going to be all confused and scratching my head and furrowing my brow in a vain attempt to try and understand the situation. And... It's, it's not going to be good. So if I just do all of this now and get it out of the way, then we know where it all is. So we've got the front sway bar in there. So there's the rubber bushings. Now I will put this front differential on. 
It's been wanting me to do it for a long, long time, and now I've finally done it. It's all in place. Front steering rack right there. That one can go in. Um, got a lot of bits here. We can do the inner tie rod there. And then let's go over here. Let's, let's work on this wheel on this side. So we can put that one on there. And now we've got the bottom suspension arm, which is going to be a load of rubber bushings. We can put those in place and then do those up like that. Um, front air suspension. Yeah, air suspension, we can put that one in, like that, and then we got the sway bar front end link, like that, do that one up there, uh, got another suspension arm up here, do those, yes, um, I know I can probably press the enter key for more than what I've been doing it, I'm just not used to using the keyboard to do such a thing, it's, um, it's, it's odd to me, it seems strange and peculiar, which is why I don't actually do it very often. I keep forgetting. I know that people keep telling me I should be using the enter key to select things. It would make it faster. I'd be able to work faster and more efficiently if I was to do such a thing. So we put that one on there. And then I go brake pads and then brake caliper. Just do it like that. And then I press enter again and it will just do it. Yeah, see? It is much faster. But I still don't. I never learned my lesson. So we've got a wheel hub bearing to go in there. And then the front drive axle can go on and we can do that one up. Um... And then the wheel, the Rim Continental GT right side. Is that is that the one that I want? Am I actually on the right side of this vehicle? This is the left side. I'm on the left hand side. Why is it set? What? I'm confused. It should be the other way around, shouldn't it? Um. Why is it set? That that, that, that doesn't seem. It, that is the left hand side of the vehicle. Unless it's the right side as you look at it from the front. I mean, that B is the right way round. I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm genuinely confused now. So if I'm, if I'm looking at it there, that's the left-hand side. But if I look at it from this side, it's the right-hand side. I don't know which one it's supposed to be. I really, Oh, hang on. Maybe it'll tell me if I look in here. Car status. Um, right, I'm looking up through here. Piston. Oh, I've got to do the compression test to actually see them on there. Um, where's the wheels? Rubber bushing. We've got a lot of stuff in here. Steering racks. Um, rim Continental GT right. Well, it says that it's the right one, so I'm just assuming that it is okay. Okay, we'll, we'll just we'll stick with that. So part mount. I want that steering knuckle to go on there, and then I want that one, and then let's zoom in a little bit. We can do that front wheel hub there, and do it up. Like that. And then I'm going to get the... Oop, no, steady. Upper suspension arm like that. Put those in. And then if I do the lower suspension arm as well, that one's also then out the way and in. Like that. So that's those, that's those bits around the side. So I want that front suspension air... The front air suspension or whatever it is um, to go on there. The sway bar front end link. That one can do up the top and the bottom. And then I want the... Uh, inner tie rod there and then the outer tie rod which goes over onto that bit onto the steering knuckle You know, I'm actually gonna you know, like kind of know my way around a vehicle the next time I ever actually need to do it Not that it's gonna benefit me in any way. I can't imagine um, Right we go that on there and then we got the brake caliper So this one has two brake caliper cylinders, which seems strange and unusual to me I'm not quite sure why it needs two, but there you go. I'm guessing it just um, makes it more powerful on the braking um, that, that, that's my guess. I can't imagine it would be for any other reason. It would proper, like, clamp the brakes on. Right, this is Rim Continental GT right side. It's saying right there. That's, that's correct. That should be the right side. So I want right side there. Yeah. Okay, so let me look. Rim Continental GT right side. And then over this side, I've also got the same. Um, Rim Continental GT right side. That's that's not right. I need to take this one off. You need to come off, and then I want to put you back on again. So if I go like that and I go to park mount, that's got to be left side, surely. That one there. What's the difference? It's the direction that they look. Oh, I see. Right. That is very fancy. Okay, well, we'll put that one on. So we've got the left-hand side one there on the left side. I'm assuming that this is the left side of the vehicle. It looks like it's the left side of the vehicle as you sat inside the vehicle. 
That's that's the assumption that I'm making here. I don't know if this is the right assumption to be making or not, but it's one that I'm going to make, and it's a mistake I'm going to stick with. Right, let's go into part mount again, and then I want to go all the way up here. So we've got a front exhaust section there, and then we've got a catalytic converter, and another one over there. I'm looking around on the front. Oh, we've got that timing cover that I need to put on. Be a good idea if we put that one on there, like that. And then after the timing cover comes other stuff as well. Yep, we've got the flywheel goes on the out. It's odd to me that it goes on the outside of the timing cover. Right, so we put that one on there. And then we've got the clutch pressure plate to go on. So we do that one up. Like that. All the way around. There we go. Clutch release bearing inside. And then the gearbox as well. The W12 gearbox. That one goes on. Do that up all the way around. There. Just like that. We've got the starter. The V8 starter. That one goes on there. Uh, yeah, that's all of that bit. And then we've got a transfer case over here. This is a fancy bit of kit that goes on the outside of it. This car has got all kinds of fancy things in it. It seems ridiculously overpowered, to be honest. I'm not really sure that there's ever actually a need for this amount of power, but I'm sure it's still going to be fun. So let's go over here. We've got middle muffler there, and we've also got a middle muffler here. Um, what else are we looking for? So we want, oh, I know what we want, the rear suspension cross member, and then once we've got that one on, then it will allow us to put the drive shaft on in place. So we can do that one up there, like that. And then there's also these nuts right here, these bolts, I should say. We can do those up. So that one is all now in place. So then I can come down here. I'll put the rear mufflers on. We've got two of those, put that one there and that one there. Those were hideously expensive as well, by the way. Everything about this car is hideously expensive. If you think that you might be able to afford it, then um, no. You, pro you probably can Let me put it this way. With a Bentley, with, with this particular Bentley, with this vehicle right here that we've been working on, if at any point you feel that you may have to ask how much is this going to cost, then you can't afford it. It's as simple as that. If at any point you have to ask, in any way, shape or form, what this might be going to cost you, you simply cannot afford it. That's, as, that's all you need to know. If you have to ask, you can't afford it. Right? It's, it's that, that is how expensive it is, and that is how much money you need in order to be able to purchase this car safely and not um, bankrupt yourself. So, uh, yeah, just, just bear that in mind if you ever decide that you might want to purchase yourself a Bentley. Um, it's not for the faint of heart or for the light of wallet. If you, if you, if you are on either of those situations, the light, uh, you know, faint of heart or light of wallet, really d don't go there. It's, it's, it's never going to be, it's, not, it's just not going to end well. It cannot end well. It just, it cannot. Okay, you have, you've had fair warning. I've done all I can. The rest is up to you. We do that one in there, and then if I go over there, we've got the wheel hub three that can go on that side over there. Let me just bring this one on round this way. There was a little connect. There we go. Sway bar, rear end link. You can go in there, do up. Excellent. I think that's most of the stuff in the middle. I got that rear wheel hub to go on there. Did I get all of the bushings to go in the middle bits? Don't know if I did. I want to put the wheel hub bearing in there before I forget about it. Brake disc on there. Uh, rear drive axle, that one can slot in there, and then we do that one up like that, and then brake pads, and then the brake caliper. This doesn't need the fancy schmancy Bentley ones with the two brake caliper cylinder thingies. Um, it only needs just the ordinary one, just, just one. And then we've got, right, this is the left-hand side. This is the one that we want, left side. So we do that one on there, like that, and that bit is done. So let me just come out of that view a second. And we want to come down onto here. I want to go like that, and then I want to go part mount. Now, did I put all of the rubber bushings into this one? I think I did. I think I did. I uh, got that one over there. Oh, yeah, I'm actually at the wrong end of the car. Let's go down this end, and then we can check again. For the, I did I actually, I also did the rubber bushings down here. So we're, it's all looking good. It's looking good. We're fine. As just one more wheel to put together. I'm going to go over to this side. And over there, so we've got this rear axle knuckle. That one can go on there, and then we can start putting these bits together in here. So I want that one on there. Sway bar link, and then I want the upper suspension arm like that. Put all of those in place. And we've got a rear air suspension shock like that. Small rubber bushing in there. 
Ooh, have I forgotten one of those? I think I have. Because I need that one to go on there. I've forgotten it on the other side. So I've still got a bit to do over the other side. Got a rear suspension arm over there. That one can go on. Can put that one on there like that. There we go. So I may have also forgotten this on the other... I think, yeah, there's, there's some bits missing over the other side. Do that one up there. Like that. And then if I come back out on here, there is a rubber bushing there, which I haven't forgotten about. You can go in. And then we've got the wheel hub over there. And then we can work back through on these bits. And then it's just those bits over the other side that I think I may have forgotten. I'm not sure now, because I think that was the last of the, um, the rubber bushings. I've used them all up. Brake pad. We can put in the rear drive axle in there and do that one up. And then we've got the brake pads on there. Put you on. Brake caliper and the cylinder. Yes. Do those up. Remember at the beginning how I used to like try and um, do everything up realistically by looking at the nut and everything? It's funny how that's fallen by the wayside. The amount of work that we have done on cars now that we've, we kind of, yeah, it's, it's, it's all fallen by the wayside. No, there is a small rubber bushing to go in there. It is the very last small rubber bushing that we had, which means that then we can put on that one there. And we can do that one up like that. And I think that is everything. All the rest of it, I'm pretty sure it's already in place. I don't see anything else. Okay. That car is now looking pretty good. It's got a lot of bits on it that weren't on it before, and we now have them all in place. So then we need to do the bodywork. Um, is that everything? I think that's... Yeah, I'm 99% I'm sure that is everything. So let's put that one down. You know, I don't remember how to actually get to the oil. I, oh, yeah. Wasn't this thing with the oil this... Yeah. This is the one that was, like, awkward to get to with the oil. Where's the, where's the oil? Air filter cover? No. I'm curious now where the oil fill is. Um, I think I do actually need to take these off. Take that one out. And that air filter base there. And then it was here somewhere, wasn't it? Oh, it's over there. There it is. See it. I see it. Okay, part mount. Let's put that back. Ah. Silly rookie mistake that was. A silly rookie mistake. But it's okay. It, we didn't take off very much stuff, did we? So we can put that back on there. And then I can put that intake manifold cover back on. I didn't think it would be that bad. Right. Let's go over there to the oil fill plug. Why can't I... Why, why can't... What? Um, part unmount. That's what you got to do. Right. I'm just going to let this one pour. It's going to take a lot of oil, I think. We're on 267575 as far as cash is concerned. Just keep going. Keep going until he spilled it everywhere. Keep going. I think it's going to take a lot. It's not overflowed anywhere yet. <laughs> there is a lot of oil going into this engine. Okay, let's stop there. Uh, let's come out of that. 20? Is that it? Okay, oil is cheap. Apparently we don't need any special oil with this beastie. Now, where is the dipstick? And this is not one of those cars where you find the dipstick behind the driver's wheel. Uh, there we go. Okay, that is maxed out on oil. That's fine. We're, we're all good for oil. And we're all good for everything else. I just need to do the back seat in the car, which I need to do once it's come down. And then we also need to do this. So we want assemble mode, and we can start putting all of this back together. So we've got the rear bumper on there. And then we've got the rear tail light. I've replaced all of these bits. We've got a window there. I had to... Well, actually, the bodywork, we repaired all of it. All bodywork was repaired. Um, the only thing that we didn't couldn't repair was the windows. Everything else, we were able to repair on our workbench. Right, that's that bit done. And we can do the trunk, like that. So, I mean, it does look quite nice, this colour. Oh, the, the, the licence plate right here. We need two licence plates. It's the only bit that we're going to have to do. We have to buy some more licence plates. So we can put that one on there, and then I can go front left door, like that. And the rear window, and then the front window. It's all looking good. It's all looking good so far. Mirror. And then the front, the front left fender and the hood. And then the front window. This is excellent. This is fantastic. We've got the headlight. I like that the headlight is all one section, so you don't have to mess around with it too much. It does make life a lot easier. A um, couple more bits over here. We've got that one, and we've got the headlight there. That's everything. That is absolutely everything. Right, so now we're going to take off these license plates. Take that one there. Oh, it's putting the license plate back on. Take that one off. Take the license plate off. 
And then the one on the back is also off. So now I need to go to the shop and I need to buy a license plate. Uh, we want to come out of there. It is Arizona plates. So I'm going to put back just once. I'm going to put back the same plates that I've already used. Um, and this time I'm going to customize them. It does put the price up just a little bit by 10 times. So uh, we want Frithgar. We are having that as our license plate. There we go. $1,700 for those two. We've never done this before. We are going to do it this time. So we're going to go there. Assemble mode. Put that one on there. Frithgar. Nailed it. Sorted. But I don't like the color of the car. So we're definitely going to have to change that. Assemble mode. We put you on as well. And yep. Frithgar. There we go. Beautiful. Frithgar's customized Bentley. Right. Now I'm going to lower that one all the way down. In the hope that I can get inside that vehicle to put the last two items in. Because it wasn't letting me. I couldn't reach into it properly to do it. So I want to go like that. Interior assemble mode. No. It's, uh, there we go. There's the bench. Put that one on. And the steering wheel. Right. So there we can do it. We can do it a lot better if we do it like that. So now we can come out of there. Oh, now it lets me do it. It does, lets me do it just fine. So we go there. And we go car status. 100%. 100. 100. 100. Restoration bonus, $50,000. Car value, $284,984. That is insane. W12 twin turbo, 633 horsepower engine. This thing is a monster. An absolute savage beast. We're going to take this one now. And we're going to move it. Uh, move to another location. We're going to go, no, 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 uh, dino, no, paint shop. There we go. Right. Now we're going to go and take a look in the paint shop. We're going to do this very quickly. I want to, um, uh, uh, I want a, a black car. Do I want black? What color? I, I don't know anything about this one. If I go paint shop right here, paint car. Ooh, right. Paint it back to garage, paint car, and, <gasps> oh, I can do any color I want. <laughs> a bright turquoise color we got metallic livery uh oh we, we, the only option we've got is none quick colors set current um we can go for i always wanted a green aston martin a green bentley is is pretty close but i think we're going to go for turquoise just because i like the idea of a slightly turquoisey color look at that look at that I, that there we go that's my car that is my car right there. Um, press C to change camera. No, paint car. Is that, how, is that how we do this? I can do matte. Oh, no. Pearl. Not a fan of pearl. Yeah, we look here. We can see a bit of a chameleon. Whoa, dude. That looks really kind of... I don't know what that is, but I, I, yeah, I'm, not, I'm not so keen. Metallic. Oh, metallic and chameleon aren't a lot different. Matte is very... I don't want matte. And I don't want pearl. So it's either got to be metallic. I think we'll go with metallic. Metallic it is. Paint car, $1,000. Kapoosh. All right, deal. Okay. Look at this beast. It's beautiful. Is that not the most wonderful car you've ever seen in your life? Look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? 284. Is that gone? You know, I honestly, I don't know if it's gone down in value or not. My paint is beautiful. Do not mock the paint. Now, if I take you, move car to another location in the garage, we can go, uh, you can check and tune car performance here. We're not going to do that. We're going to go and we're going to put you in, uh, no, I, d I didn't want it in car lift A. Oh, well, it's in there now. We can't do anything about it. Let me out. Let me out. Let me free. Now, we've got a customer car here, so I'm, I'm just going to move this car. We're going to go car status a minute. Uh, we've got quite a few bits that need doing on that. Let's leave that one for a minute. We're going to go move you to car lifter B. And then we're going to go over here. And we're going to go to the speed track. Just so that we can test our Bentley Continental GT right there. Look at that beautiful, wonderful, sleek, slick beast. There it is in all its green and shiny glory. The Bentley. After all of our work that we did, look at it. Look at it and admire it. Bask in its glory. Bask in its warm and friendly glow. 
Is that not the most beautiful creature you have ever laid eyes on? Let us see what we can do with it. Let's see what kind of speed this thing can do. Now, I'm worried it's going to slide all over the track. It's got sports. It's got three grand's worth of tyres in it, so it should be good. Are you ready? Here we go. Here we go. And go. And we're away. We're away. Top speed. 90 already. Um, pretty sure that we've, like, done... Three, was it 300? Nought to 300? I don't know what the nought to 300 was previously. I absolutely don't remember, but we're doing 200k. I don't think this is as fast as the vehicle that we've used here previously. The one thing I don't like about this game is it doesn't record all previous speeds that you've had on the track. But I still feel that 0 to 215 seconds is pretty good. 0 to 100 in under 4 seconds. I do think that was pretty good as far as, you know, as far as we, yeah, 0 to, 0 to 100 in less than 4 seconds seems reasonable. That does seem reasonable. Right, let's return to Garage. And that is all we've got time for today. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And it's loading very slowly because I wanted to just take another quick look at the new Bentley. Not the new Bentley, the, the other Bentley that we've got. It's this one over here. We will fix this one and then we can um, test it at the, re at, the, the, at the track. See what it does. Um, but this one, quite frankly, I don't think is going to perform quite as well as that one over there. Um, but we're going to try and work on this one a little bit next time. It's only a repair job for this one. We don't actually own the vehicle. Let me know in the comments section. Maybe I should just get rid of this, you know, not complete the job and then go hunting for an actual one of our own so that we can fit it up and we can paint it in a matching color of green like this one over here. Um, but yeah, that is beautiful. I love this car. This car is much better now that it's the right color. Uh, uh, yeah, until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.